The Israeli Defense Forces say they've killed one of Hamas's main leaders, releasing this video of a strike in Gaza today. They say shows the moment the deputy head of Hamas's intelligence directorate was killed. The IDF says he was one of the terrorists who planned the October 7th attack against Israel that killed more than 1,400. I will let the Israeli Defense Forces speak to their operations and their targeting procedures. We're not involved in, in that. They have a right and a responsibility to go after Hamas. This, as the IDF says, they're stepping up preparations for combat, sending tanks into northern Gaza overnight to raid Hamas's sites in the region, attacking multiple targets on the ground before withdrawing. <laughs> Prime Minister Netanyahu confirming Israel is getting ready for a ground invasion, though it's not clear when that might happen. But uh, that does not lessen the need for to operate in the line with the laws of war. President Biden says he's spoken with Netanyahu about hostages in Gaza. The son of Haim Perry, who was abducted by Hamas, says he believes a ground incursion will lower his chances he'll ever see his father again. The minute a, a tank's coming in, I know my father, I don't know if he, if he will live. Meanwhile, the Hamas-run Ministry of Health says more than 7,000 Palestinians have been killed in the war. This as the hospital scene grows more dire as many run out of fuel for the generators. The fuel is zero, simply the doctors and the nurses will go home. The IDF says there are more than 220 confirmed hostages in Gaza. The Biden administration says 10 Americans are still unaccounted for and that many of them are likely hostages. Efforts to secure their release continue. M. Wynn, ABC News, Washington.